it's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. I have filmed this intro 30,000 times. <sighs> At this point, I am sweaty, oily, dewy, greasy, a combination of everything because I have literally been sitting in front of these lights for the past hour and a half. I start the video, I talk for like 30 minutes, and I'm like, no, no, no. So I start over because either I start talking too much, I go off topic, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So it, it's just been crazy, okay? It's been crazy. So this video might be a little bit all over the place. Bear with me. Weight loss videos for me are a very sensitive subject to talk about. That's why I don't do them as often as you guys would like me to because I am just very awkward in them. <laughs> My hair. We're not talking about that either. I am in the road to regrowth. I'm trying to grow out my hair and I'm trying not to style it or anything. So this is what you get with and we're not going to judge me for it. So today's video is going to be a weight loss video. I want to talk to you guys about where I am in my weight loss, what I am eating, drinking. I'm going to show you guys what I eat for a whole day and we're just going to talk about weight loss. About four years ago, I posted a video called How I Lost 80 Pounds and that is one of my most popular videos up to this point what <laughs> that is one of my most popular videos to date i posted that video four years ago and a lot has happened since then if you guys are interested in that video i will have it linked up here for you guys to watch <sighs> disclaimer it's one of my first videos so i'm very shy awkward i talk too much i repeat myself too much it's very cringy but i have come a long way since then don't judge me but a lot of you guys seem to like it and you, to this day I get tons of comments saying how much that video has helped. So um, I'm going to have it there. I'm going to have it up here if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Since I posted that video, I definitely have gained some of the weight back. Not all of the weight back, but majority of the weight I have gained it back. video is going to be a combination of why, when, how, how much type of videos. So let's start with the why. Why am I doing this? Well, let's see. I'm done. <laughs> done with the sugar. Never having energy to do anything. I posted on my Instagram that I feel beautiful and confident, but I still have my bad days. And you know what? I have been having too many bad days recently about myself and I am just done. Like that's it. I'm done. I know I've posted videos before in the past where I'm like, I'm going to do this weight loss thing and I want you guys to join me and I just end up falling off the wagon. But this time, I am 30 days strong and I am going to continue being strong. So that is why I'm done. I'm done with the sugar. I'm done with the unhealthy lifestyle. If I keep eating the way that I am eating, like with sugar and all of that, I don't think I'll make it past 50. Like, I, it's really that bad. Like. Bad. So after I decided that I was going to do this and I was ready for it, I didn't know where to start. I was so tired of being let down by myself because I was always like, I'm going to do this, then I end up not doing anything. So I was just kind of like, oh, I need to start. And one of my really good friends from work was actually starting a 30-day detox, like a cleanse, and she was talking to me about it. And as soon as she said the brand's name, which is Teeny, I was like, oh my God, I've talked to them before. And the reason why I couldn't do the cleanse back then was because I was anemic, but I'm not anemic anymore. So I'm gonna start it with you. So that was like on a Wednesday, like that following Monday, I started my cleanse and it changed everything for me. It kickstarted my weight loss. It made me feel like happy like i had something to look forward to and it was really fun because we would talk about the cleanse so it kept me motivated like she would tell me did you have your detox tea today did you get any like you know we would talk about it so it kept me going and it kept me motivated that completely kick-started my weight loss and i have been doing it ever since like during the 30 days i was just doing the detox which i'll talk about now in just a second and i was just kind of watching what i was eating i was not limiting myself to what i was eating except that that I had cut back a lot. After talking to a couple people that are doing keto, they highly recommended it. So I started doing keto this past week and I also started doing intermittent fasting. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. I tried to do intermittent fasting not that, lo not that long ago. It was very, very hard. But again, you guys, I'm super motivated this time. So I am sticking with it. So what is the keto diet? So the keto diet is a high fat, low carb diet. And I 
have struggled with it because I don't really eat a lot of vegetables, but I am finding my way around it a little bit. Like I'm sticking to vegetables that I know I like and I'm trying to do it methods that I know I like. I'm kind of finding my way around with the vegetable situation. And then intermittent fasting is when you eat for eight hours of the day and then you fast for 16 hours of the day, which sounds crazy, but we're already fasting when we're sleeping. So all you have to do is just eat a little later in the mornings and then eat a little earlier in the afternoons. So I start eating like around 11 in the morning, which is honestly when I get hungry because I don't wake up hungry and then I stop eating like around 7 and then on the days that I wake up earlier I start eating around 10 in the morning and then I stop eating at around 6 in the afternoon so that is what I have been doing this past week it's been three days and honestly today has been the hardest day in the diet but I'm sticking with it I'm gonna push through because I hear that the first week is the hardest, but then it gets easier and I'm ready. Like I am so ready for this change. So that is what I have been kind of doing. So now I'm gonna talk about specifically what I am eating, what time I am eating, and the detox. So what has been the magical detox that I started that has kicked off everything is this little baby right here. This is a teamy 30 day detox duo <laughs> cleanse if you will and i love this i have two family members that are doing it at the moment one of my friends from work just texted me yesterday that he's gonna start so this is good you guys this is called the teamy and at first i was like tammy but it's not tammy it's t me and that is how it's pronounced and i love this so much so what is this? So this is a 30 day detox. It comes in two little packages. You have the skinny tea and then you have a Colin cleanse type of tea. This one you have every single morning and then the Colin cleanse you have every other day. Honestly, for me, for my experience, you do you when you're doing this, whatever works for you. The Colin cleanse, I don't do it every other day. I do it every other two days. The effects of the Colin cleanse last me for over two days. So instead of doing it every other day, I do it every two days and it's worked great you guys like I I love this like I don't think I'm ever gonna stop this I saw a huge increase of energy you guys when I drink this I am like invincible like I finish everything that I have in my to-do list in like the afternoon like I feel so energized and it has helped with my bloating so much so what I do and I prepared one prepared one i prepared one for you guys so you can see what it looks like so how i make this which i'll show you guys a demo now in just a second but what you do is you take one teaspoon of the dry leaves and you boil some water i do about two minutes in the microwave and then i pour my water into my cup and then i pour my leaves into the cup and you'll see that as the tea is steaming and kind of juicing in there you'll see how the leaves start to rehydrate and expand and then your tea starts to you know take effect if you are going to do this detox i definitely recommend you getting this cup because this actually comes with a sifter right here so you put this in here inside your cup so when you're drinking it you're not drinking the leaves and you're just drinking the liquid and that sifter i don't know if you can see it there you go you can see it now it helps the leaves stay down here so that you're not like drinking the leaves so love the cup if you are going to get this 30-day detox definitely invest in the cup because it's awesome and it's great and it's super travel friendly and then you can also undo this and you have a cup which i love that so yeah that is what i have been doing for the 30 days they did give me a discount code for you guys they gave me 15 percent off and i don't want you to think that i am just trying to sell you this to make a couple bucks because that is not the case at all i 100 percent stand by these teas and if you don't see any effects i want you to personally email me and tell me off because i promise you that you're gonna see the effects and you're gonna see how less bloated you are how good you're gonna feel, how much energy you're gonna have. I promise you, you're gonna love it. And if you don't want to, you don't have to use my discount code. Just go on your own and buy it yourself because I promise you, you will love this tea. So, and the calling cleanse, oh my God, you are going to love this as well. So that is what I do every single morning. 
Alrighty, so the first thing that I do is I get one uh, TSP, one teaspoon of the dry leaves and I pour that into my cup. And then I preheated some water in the microwave. I put two minutes in the microwave and this is an eight ounce cup. And I'm just going to pour this in here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the stopper. So as you can see, whoop, as you can see, you have the leaves and you see that they start to expand and get really, really big. And you're gonna see how dark the water gets and that is the tea working. I like to put the sifter on for now and then I like to leave it uncovered for a couple of seconds, maybe like a minute or so. Um, just to make sure that it's not really really hot in a couple minutes I want to say around five minutes or so and look at the leaves how they have expanded so look how the leaves have expanded because they're hydrated now so now the tea is ready to drink so I am going to drink my tea this is going to kickstart my metabolism, get me a little bit of energy, and then I'm gonna wait a little bit, and then we're gonna do a protein shake. But I like to start off my mornings with my tea because I love it, and it makes me go to the bathroom, which is A plus. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and then get to work around the house, and then we'll be back when it's time for the protein shake. After I finish my tea, I go in with a protein shake, and a protein shake, I love. I love to have protein shakes because I am not that great at eating protein throughout the day. So the protein shake gives me that extra little, that extra little protein boost that I need and it also prepares me to do my workout. If I am going to do a workout, I typically do it in the mornings because in the afternoons I'm lazy. So the protein shake just kind of helps me kickstart my day and it gives me a little protein boost for my workouts if i'm gonna have carbs throughout my day i'll usually have my carbs in my next meal which is my lunch so at lunch time i usually go for a salad a caesar salad i eat my salad with the croutons you know it's croutons like how much carbs can a crouton have so i'll eat my salad with the croutons and uh, sometimes i'll do a turkey burger sometimes i'll do a turkey sandwich or a wrap whatever I am feeling or if I cooked something the night before and I couldn't eat it because it was really really late at night then I'll have it then. For this today I am going to show you guys a chicken Caesar salad that I picked up at my local grocery store. After I eat my lunch I wait about three hours and this is going to be my last meal of the day. I like to have some sort of protein and then I'll have it with some sort of vegetable um, like for example yesterday which you guys will see now I made some butter salmon because you can have butter in the keto diet so I made some salmon I spiced it up with salt pepper a little bit of butter and a little bit of lemon juice and then I had that with some mashed cauliflower which resembles mashed potato but it was not mashed potato it definitely did not taste like mashed potato but you gotta do what you gotta do so that is usually what I'll do or if not I'll just have the protein on its own with a little bit of some green beans asparagus whatever is on the menu sometimes if I cook for Lauren something that's not too healthy I'll usually try to just eat the protein and let him have everything else but it just depends on what I am feeling that day I definitely struggle with my water intake but this particular week I have been doing so good with my water I have been managing to drink about 64 ounces of water which if you know me at all you know that that's that's pretty hard for me to do so the question that you guys probably all have is how much weight have I lost so from the moment that I started the cleanse to the moment that I finished it I lost a total of six pounds but I lost a ton of inches off my body because it kept me so nice and I was just not bloated at all like I looked so good like I looked like you know what in the mornings when you wake up and you're like all nice and skinny and you're just like oh why can I stay like that all day well with the cleanse I literally stayed like that all day and as soon as I started it my mom's like oh my god you've lost weight like your face just looks so much thinner and that is because I was not bloated I was not retaining any water I felt great, but I did lose six pounds on that. So that was only with the cleanse. But since this week I started the keto and the intermittent fasting diet and the cleanse as well, 
I feel like I'm gonna lose a lot more now because I have completely cut off sugar and have completely cut off carbs after five. The sugar withdrawal has been really, really tough on me, especially at nighttime. And um, I am not eating as many carbs as I used to, you guys. Like, we used to have pasta like twice a week. We used to have bread like every single day and rice. Oh my God, rice. And I haven't had that all week, which is pretty crazy. <sighs> it's pretty, but you know what? I am doing it and I feel great. And I don't know, I feel slimmer. I'm going to start doing check-ins most likely every 30 days. This is my first check-in. This is my detox completed, how much weight I lost, and I'll show you before and after pictures. And then also what I'm going to do moving forward. And then in the next 30 days, I'll talk to you guys about how the second round of detox went, as well as the keto and the intermittent fasting, how much weight I lost there, which I'm so excited. Hope I lose weight. We'll see. I felt like I had some questions to answer towards the end of the video, but I think I have answered all of them throughout the video. But if I left anything out, I will leave it down in the description. And also, if you have any questions for me that I did not cover in today's video, let me know in the comment section and I will write back as soon as possible. I try to answer everyone's comments. So yes, let me know. But that's it. I'm sorry if I bored you in today's video. I hope this made sense. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope you got motivated to start as well. So yes, that's it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Turn on your post notifications and like the video if you enjoyed. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Mwah.